Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to do smooth slow motion in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this is awesome because you don't need the best of the best camera gear, you just need a camera that shoots at 60 frames per second. And nowadays, a lot of cameras do that and even more. So with that said, let's jump on into what you can get out of 60p. <laughs> So as you guys just saw, that was buttery smooth slow motion at 1080p, 60 frames per second. You do not need a camera that shoots 120 or even 96 frames per second, but it surely helps. So all you have to do when you want to edit videos in slow motion is simply right click on the video and go to speed and duration. Normally you would set the speed to about 50 and just kind of click OK and then see what you get. And right now looking at it, it's kind of smooth, right? But we want this to be even a little bit slower. So say we wanted to right click go to speed and duration, set that to 30, and click OK, it would look a little choppy, right? It's not smooth, it looks choppy. So what we want to do is a thing called optical flow. So when we right click on this and go to speed and duration, go to time interpolation, click on that and click on optical flow. And it looks buttery smooth. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I've already pre-rendered all of these settings, that's why I have a green line. All you have to do is click I to set an endpoint and O to set an out point. Go to sequence and then click render in to out. What that'll pretty much do is it'll render that entire sequence so that you can play it back buttery smooth like this one. If you notice, optical flow pretty much adds in these little frames right here that you can see if you go frame by frame. It pretty much paints a picture and it guesstimates all of the moving parts and adds what it should look like. So it smooths out everything. So every now and then you'll get a little fragment or a little particle that's a little glitchy and weird, but that doesn't really matter when you're playing it back at regular speed. Let's check out a few other ways to do some slow motion. So we're gonna drag another video out to the end and start working with this one. Axel's pretty much just walking normally, and I want him to start slowing down a little bit right when he passes this tree. So what we wanna do is simply drag our video layer so that it's nice and big so we have something to work with. And you can simply drag these lines anywhere. Let's right click on the video and go to show clip keyframes and go to time remapping and make sure speed is selected. This will pretty much give you a white line right here that you can adjust the speed manually, which is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrub through here, see where we wanna start this slow motion effect, probably right there. We're gonna click this little circle, which will pretty much add a keyframe right there. And now we have a keyframe that we can start manipulating the speed. We want everything after this to start slowing down. So let's bring that down to 30%, which I found seems to work the best with optical flow. And then the fun thing about this one, we can zoom in a little bit, and then these two lines right here, we can manipulate. So basically, we have a front line and a back line. If we drag to the right, it'll pretty much create this ramp that'll start to slow it down gradually. And then we can also click on these little lines right here and manipulate them to create a little smoother ramp. So if we check this out, it'll start to go, he'll start to smoothly walk down, but I noticed that transition was a little too fast for me, so I'm gonna drag that out a little bit. And then once you are done setting those settings, click O at the end of that and I at the beginning. Also, be sure to right click on here and go to time interpolation and make sure optical flow is checked. If it's not, it won't be buttery smooth like the example in the beginning. So once that is done, simply go to sequence click render into out and let that render and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So let's play back through this in full screen and as we're seeing he's starting to walk in slow motion and it's pretty smooth. As you can see if we go frame by frame you can see that like there's a little artifacts over here that are being created. It works about 90% of the time. So just keep playing around with it see what you guys can do. All in all there's a lot of ways you can do slow motion. Simply by right clicking and go to speed and duration manipulating there. You can even click R on the keyboard which brings up the rate stretch tool or you can click over here and that'll pretty much allow you to manipulate the speed that way. However you are manipulating the speed make sure you right click and make sure time interpolation optical flow is on because that will make it a lot smoother than simply using the standard frame sampling and frame blending. I really hope this tutorial helps you guys take that cinematic slow motion to the next level in your guys' videos. And I'm excited to see what you do. So if you use this technique, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check it out. As always, if you guys like the tutorial, click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future.